that is so important. And you know, learning when I say falling, the, the most important part of that is the falling in love part. Okay, it's not about it's not about just growing and learning. Mm. It's about falling in love with it. Like it's it's it, it's it's your identity. It becomes part of your nervous system. It becomes part of your being. To that you got to get up and, and learn. Why? Because you understand. You truly understand that once you learn and grow, it doesn't matter where it is, whichever part of your life that needs the growth, or once you want to en- keep continually enhancing. Uh, you learn it, you know you're going to make progress. And we already say it all the time. When you make progress, progress equals happiness. So the big question is this. How do married couples like us who have busy schedules, run high performing businesses, face challenges daily, raise multiple children, and yet still remain in love, passionate, and happy like when we first dated? That is the question. And the show will give you the answers. Welcome to the Savant Family Show. Master your relationship, your life, and your business now. Hello, down. hello, hello, hello. And uh, hey, you're either growing or you're dying, but there really is no plateau. <laughs> Remember that, okay? So we're going to cover what that actually means. You're either growing or you're dying. There is no plateau. And we're going to cover what that really means in a little bit here. Hello, hello. Good morning, Hi, good everyone. Good morning, good morning. Yes, good <laughs> afternoon, good evening, wherever you are at in the world. Hey, we just wanted to first off congratulate you. Obviously, you are here to change your life and to change the lives of those around you. And you found us. We are here. We just want to help you be uh, your guide to walk you through this amazing journey. And uh, Saturdays are... Um, a personal, uh, you know, unleashing your really your personal potential, your growth day, and uh, we're going to cover a couple of different topics here today. But uh, the very first type title that we're going to be discussing is how to take your life to the next level. Are you guys ready for this? Yes. yes? Do you have a pen? Do you have uh, coffee? My wife's got her tea right here. Got your coffee. Got grab your partner and uh, let's grow together. So look. Um, the reason why I say you're either growing or you're dying, there really is no plateau, because that's true, right? You know, people will say, oh, I bet, you know, I've, I've uh, hit a plateau in life. Well, it's, it's not really a plateau, really. You're, if you're not growing, you're dying. And mm-hmm. growth has so much, uh, you know, to do with how you master everything in your life, your career, your relationship, your business, your family. And uh, really, it all starts from within. That's a cool... The coolest part of this whole entire thing is it starts with you, yes. right? It starts with you. So, uh, baby, what's your take on, on growth? And, and uh, obviously you have some announcements for our viewers here. <laughs> um, I really love um, the topic about growing uh, yes. because, um, you know, when we were growing up, we, we learned to learn, right? We learned <clears> to, <throat> to do the education. And a lot of time it was boring. So you're like, yeah, I'm not too you know, passionate about it. But, you know, after we, we got into businesses, we realized that learning and growing is actually really, really fun. Because every time you learn, every time you grow, your business just go, you know, pivot to the next level. Every time you learn, every time you grow, you know, your family, your relationship just got to the next level. And the cool, coolest part is we're no longer in the, in the school system, so you can pick what do you really enjoy doing. Yeah, you know, right? lo- so, yeah. You know learning is like, like school, right? It's your... It, it's really you want to look at growth as not passive learning, right? We went to school, we're almost like forced to go to school and you sit in the class and you listen to the teacher. That's passive learning. Yes. Really, growth is active learning. Yes. 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 So, you know, like, uh, you know, my cousin just fell in love with uh, yoga. So she's doing yoga and she's going to be a yoga teacher pretty soon here. Wow. You know, um, I know that my family members, the mm-hmm. uh, Cal, you know, she he loves to cook. So he's learning how to cook, right? Yes. For me, um, you know, when I first come to the state, I don't really know how to speak English. I know that a lot of people say, hey, Netflix binging is really not a good idea. <laughs> but the truth is that is how I learn my English in the most comfortable way. I always have the subtitle underneath it. <clears throat> and when I was watching it, I would pronounce the word and I would look at the subtitle and see how do I, um, you know, do the grammar correctly and, um, and get everything right, you know. And um, it was such a low pressure and I was enjoying the entertainment while I'm learning my English. So it's a win for all three of them. It just really depends on how you learn, how you grow. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you always have to be in education, sitting in a classroom, yes. getting bored with, with it, right? 
Also, you know, if you really feel that, you know, there's a lot of values in here, make sure that you like our page because we always are going live, you know, Monday to Saturday, yes. every single day. That's our commitment to you because yes. we really think that, you know, everybody needs to level up their, their game, level up their business, level up, obviously, their and love. Their relationship, right? their, their family. family. Correct. So, yeah. you know, so we're really designing this for you so that mm -hmm. you can pivot, you can go up there. And sometimes just thinking outside the box. So, again, if you're really enjoying this, like it, comment right there. You know, let us know how how do you learn. You know, do you are you a, a kinesthetic learner? So, auditory, is, is auditory or visual. or visual, right? What kind of learning you, you know, do you do, right? Uh, again, you know, for me, um, you know, I'm... Um, I'm a mom, so I'm a very busy mom. So, you know, reading a book is really hard for me because I have to sit still and read and focus. So I usually just pop in a, you know, a headset and turn on YouTube or, you know, a, an audio book. Yeah. You know, that's a lot easier for me because I'm, I'm using my net time, you know, no extra time. Yeah. Net time, you have it too, no extra yes, time. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. And I love immersive learning where I'm, you know, heavily there live mm -hmm. or, you know, watching something live, I'm, I'm in it, you know, I'm doing exercises, I'm doing, yes. uh, you know, getting tools, downloading it and doing it immediately and writing things down. Just my, if I go to courses, man, my notes are like, I'm like writing like crazy. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, learning is good. So today's topic is really mastering your life through constant and never ending growth. Ooh. Okay. Mastering your life through constant and never ending growth is the actual topic. The title is really how to uh, take your life to the next level. So that's really how you do it. Right, you take your life to the next level by really, you know, mastering your life. And in order to master your life, you you gotta grow. Mm -hmm. You gotta have constant, never-ending growth. So we're gonna share with you two tips here that, um, you know, for for me, uh, for us, really, love has be, uh, you know, uh, growth has become uh, an everyday thing for us. Mm -hmm. Right, every day, literally every, you know, couple two three hours a day, I would say we learn in all areas of our life from being. Better uh, intimate partners to uh, being better parents and being better people, uh, you know, really definitely also being better as business owners, right? And business leaders in our uh, yes. companies and our community. And we also surround ourselves with all the people that like to grow because yes. when you are surrounding yourself with people that don't really necessarily like to grow, you know, it kind of demotivate you to grow. Yes. Um, so, you know, in, in our community, you know, we have book club, we have social media club, you Your know, masterminds. We have, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we have all kind of stuff. And it just depends on what you really enjoy. You know, we have a relationship mastermind too. You yeah, know, every week Tuesday we talk night, about yeah. relationship. You know, it just, you know, it, it, it really start with how do you like to learn? You yes. know, is it a mastermind? Is it a book club? Is that, you know, watching TVs? Yes. You know, uh, is it immersion? You know, uh, that I think that would be a great place to start. Yeah, that's where you start. So here are the two tips, right? The first tip is fall in love with growing, right? I fall in love with growing, falling in love with learning. Uh, you know, stand guard at the doorway of your mind, as Jim mm -hmm. Rohn would say, right? Uh, that is so important. And, you know, learning, uh, when I say falling, the, the most important part of that is the falling in love part, okay? It's not about, <laughs> it's not about just growing and learning. Mm -hmm. It's about falling in love with it. Like, it's, it's, it, it's, it's your identity. It becomes part of your nervous system. It becomes part of your being to that you got to get up and, and learn. Why? Because you understand, you truly understand that once you learn and grow, it doesn't matter where it is, whichever part of your life that needs the growth, or once you want to in, keep continually enhancing, uh, you learn it, you know you're going to make progress. And we already say it all the time. When you make progress, progress equals happiness, right? In your life, whether you made a, you know, a dollar more today or you, you know, you increase your love today or you, you know, grow your business by 1%, that is progress. And when you make progress, you automatically are happy. That's just yes. the way it is. So. Yes. Uh, you know, fall in love with learning. For me, I had to learn this as well, right? Why? Because, you know, I just thought learning was something was a must, right? Because we went to school. We had to go to school. We had to get this degree or this diploma, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, I had a kind of negative uh, connotation of learning. And for me, no way. Learning now is like an everyday thing. I wake up. I throw on my headphones when I'm doing my smoothie juice for my family and things like that. And I'm just, as, my, as I'm working out. And I get so much out of it. It really gets, uh, you know, starts my day. Mm -hmm. uh, throughout the day, I do it as well. And obviously uh, at night before I go to sleep. But fall in love with learning, right? And we're going to share with the next tip. But what, what do you mean? Uh, what are your take on that fall in love with learning? I already tell them I'm, I'm in love with learning. Yeah, yeah she is. She is. She, she learns a lot. I yeah. love gadgets. I love new things. I love, you know, and, and again, you know, if you learn any new ways of doing things, 
let us know. Comment below. Let us know because uh, I love to learn from you. Yes, yes. And then the second tip is grow your strengths, not your weaknesses. Ooh, right? that's a good one. Man, you know, we used to, uh, you, I grew up in being taught to, to fix my weaknesses, yes. right? To conquer yes. my weaknesses. If you're not strong at something, fix it and work on that and, and then you know, you'll, get, you'll, you'll grow your strength. But then I'm like, wouldn't it be easier if I just grew the strengths I already have? <laughs> Right. Yeah, just got what John Maxwell say, you know, bring yourself to your string zone. Yeah. Bring yourself to your string zone. You know, do you know that John Maxwell is, I think he is, he's definitely a millionaire. I don't know whether he reached yeah. a B yet. Yeah, he is. He is? Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Um, so uh, he told us, he said, you know, I, I just love impacting people, but money, I have no clue how much money I have. I just have a bookkeeper. The bookkeeper said, hey, by the way, you make a lot of money. Oh, I didn't know. Because Maxwell was never really good with numbers. He just loved people and he just loved to teach. Yes. Uh, and so he never really learned, you know. So I thought, you know, when, when I heard about that, it was like, wow, this is really cool. Because, you know, focus on your strength instead of weakness. You know, what are you really good at, right? You know, uh, we have, uh, you know, again, I'm going to bring out Mary. Mary is watching, uh, you know, the live right now, too. <laughs> you know, she's just a very amazing, uh, you know, numbers person. Uh, so, you know, now, you know, we're just counting on her to, you know, do all the, you know, get all the numbers done for us. <laughs> so, you know, if it's numbers, Mary, there there you go. This is yours, you know, so that we can focus on doing the recording, learning, and then giving you more, uh, you know, tips and tricks and hacks, you know, to your everyday life. Yeah, if you remember a story way back, Michael Jordan, you know, he's obviously, for me, he's the, the greatest basketball player of all time, um, the GOAT, right? And he went into baseball at one mm -hmm. time. You know, think about it. He's an athlete, right? Mm -hmm. Supreme athlete. But then he went into uh, baseball. It's not that he didn't fail. He just wasn't as good at it. But he's like, you know, athlete of the athletes, right? Yeah. That's how we, people view him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you stay in your strength zone and you grow that, you master. You become mastery, right? You become the GOAT, the greatest of all time. And that's really, you know, a good kind of very simple example of that. And what is your strength, mm -hmm. right? What do you have? What superpower do you know or have within you? Maybe you don't even know. That's why, that's why working on your strength is so important because when you do that, you're going to pull whatever it is already within you out. Right? Yeah, figure that out, you know, figure out what is really your strength and, and maybe not even just strength, is what what is the thing that you really enjoy doing? Yeah. Because when you really enjoy doing it, that mm. becomes your strength. Yeah, and then when you do the second part right where you start working on your strengths, you make the first tip that we just showed you very easy because if you have a passion for your strength and you want to do it, right? And yes. so you're falling in love with what you're actually trying to learn and grow yes. is that much easier. So yes. Again, uh, you know, t today's title is, uh, you know, how to uh, really take your life to the next level. And, uh, you know, the top is, topic is mastering your life through constant and never-ending growth. And the two tips that we shared with you are, one, uh, fall in love with growing, right, and learning. And then a second, uh, second tip is really just, um, you know, uh, grow your strengths, where, where your strengths are, not your weaknesses, and spend time there. So, we really enjoy it today. I thank you very much for listening, guys. Again, if you uh, like this topic, uh, hit the like button, comment, as well as share. If you want to share, follow us on this page as well, because we do live, we do uploading recordings as well. But share with somebody. If you believe that somebody needs, you know, a little boost, right, in their life to take their life to the next level, they're going through some hard times or they're not at the level where they want to be at, please share this with them and we love, would love to impact their life as well. So yes. thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. We love you. Bye-bye. If you like this show, subscribe now. Remember, mastery starts here. See, See you on, on the next, next show. show.